Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NHL action for February the 19th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools right here to help you make your picks. Okay, so the NHL season is well over halfway complete, about two-thirds of the way. In fact, Ed teams are really fighting for playoff positioning. So let's take a look at five games for February the 19th. There are 10 games total, so we're going to take a look at half of them. So we're going to start with, uh, let's see, Dallas and Boston. So Dallas comes in burning hot. You can see winners of their last three and five out of their last six. While Boston is ice cold down, losers of their last three, and they have dropped four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games mainly over the line. You can see here uh, each of them four out of their last six involved in games over the line. The score prediction is for Dallas to come out on top four to three. Confidence in the prediction is at 68% at the moment. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you see Dallas is steady at plus 29, while Boston, they were at, 20, at 31, and they have gone up and down mainly on a downward trend now down to uh, plus 21. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams this season, you can see the Boston won the first game between the two teams as a road underdog by a 3-2 score. If you take a look at another thing here, the home and road records, Boston is 17-7-4 uh, at home, and the Stars have an exceptional road record of 17-6-4. So actually slightly better road record for Dallas and Boston's home record. If you take a look at the stability factor, you can see that Dallas has been much more consistent at plus 16 compared to Boston at plus 9. And Boston's inconsistency just started uh, at the end of last month. You can see they, they were at plus uh, 27 and they have dropped down now to plus 9. So in the end here, I like uh, Dallas to even the score with a road win. I like Dallas to win this one in a game over the line. Toronto and St. Louis. We're going to take a look at the next one, Vancouver and Minnesota. Both teams come in burning hot. You can see three-game winning streak for Vancouver, a four-game winning streak for Minnesota. If you look at the overall standings, um, let's see, uh, let's see, what am I looking at here? Oh, uh, yeah, so burning hot is for Vancouver and also burning hot for Minnesota. Kind of a little bit off my trend of thought there for a moment. Now we're back on, on track here. Um, if we look at the um, over-under streak, you can see that both teams have been involved mainly in games over the line, four out of the last six for both teams. Uh, each one has been involved in a game under the line in their last game. It was 4-1 to one Vancouver against Detroit, and it was 3-1 to one Minnesota and Arizona in their last meeting. So Minnesota is picked by the score prediction to win 4-3 with a confidence in the prediction of about 56%. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, you can see the last two games have been split, both teams winning at home and in lower scoring games. Look at this, 2-0 and 2-1. If you take a look at the stability factor, the teams have been very consistent and as far as uh, evenly consistent, right, at both at, at plus 10 on the uh, team volatility oscillator. Um, I like, I do like uh, Vancouver in this one. Minnesota has played well to work its way back to 500. But Vancouver has the best record in the NHL. I don't see Minnesota winning this one. So let's go Vancouver by a couple of goals in a game over the line. Detroit and Seattle. Detroit comes in average down, losers of their last two and three out of their last four. While Seattle has, uh, just broke a recent three-game losing skid with two straight wins by a combined score of 6-2. to two. So they've been playing very well, particularly on the defensive end. Uh, as far as the over-under goes, the teams have been trending in games on opposite sides of the line. You can see the two out of the last three for Detroit over, two out of the last three for Seattle under the line. On the power ranks indicator, Detroit is at plus 24, and you can see Seattle has climbed up over the last, uh, not even the last week, they they climbed up from plus 2 up to plus 11 with their recent uh, good play. Uh, Seattle was picked in the score predictor to win by a 4-3 to three margin with 67% level of confidence and the next thing i want to look at is the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams you can see back on october 24th it was seattle winning by five to four on the road in overtime shootout and in fact the last two games were five four interestingly or not even though last game the previous one was on march of 2023 so the teams have been involved in a lot of high scoring games 
But in this time here, because the teams are turning on opposite sides of the line, I'm going to pass on the over-under bet if I do have Seattle to win this game and to go up 2-0 in the season series. Edmonton, Arizona. Vegas and San Jose. Here's an interesting matchup. Uh, both teams coming in average status. You can see both, uh, like I said, average status. But Vegas actually 4-2 over the last six. has been better than San Jose at 3-3 three three over their last six. San Jose is second from the bottom in the Western Conference. Well, Vegas is right in the middle of the playoff hunt in the same conference. Uh, if you take a look at the over-under, both teams involved in games mainly over the line. You can see five out of the last six for Vegas and four out of the last six for San Jose over the line. The score prediction has Vegas by a single goal, four to three. Confidence in the prediction is at 62%. Not much to really look at here as far as the power ranks indicator. Clearly Vegas much higher throughout the whole season near the top of the league. And you see San Jose near the bottom for the entire season. In the head-to-head -head matchup back on December the 10th, it was Vegas winning by a single goal at home. And on November the 10th, it was Vegas winning by five. And on October 12th, Vegas won by four on the road. So you can see in the last three games, one close game, but pretty much blowouts by Vegas. I don't see a whole lot difference in this one. I think Vegas is going to win by at least two goals, and I'm looking for a higher scoring game. So let's go over the line in this one. The last one we want to look at is uh, Winnipeg and Calgary. Winnipeg comes in on a two-game winning streak after losing their last four, and Calgary on a two-game losing streak after winning their previous four. So kind of on a, uh, trending in different in different ways, right? Uh, Winnipeg is fourth in the Western Conference, but Calgary is on the outside of the playoff picture looking in despite their, uh, you know, four wins out of their last six games. The score prediction does have Calgary winning this one by a three-to-two margin. Confidence in the prediction, though, is only like a toss of a coin at 50%. The teams have been involved in games on opposite sides of the over-under line. You can see Winnipeg four out of the last six under, whereas Calgary four out of the last six over. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Winnipeg on a steep upward climb since February the 10th from plus eight. They are now at plus 18, while Calgary has dipped from plus 11 down to plus five. The stability factor, you can see here that Winnipeg is at plus 12. Calgary is at plus eight. Calgary has been not as consistent lately. We can see back on January the 20th, they were at plus 10. And since then, they've dropped two down to plus eight. So the way I'm looking at this, um, the Flames have a better road record than a home record. And since they've won the last two games between the teams, I think this is going to be three in a row for Calgary. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL for February the 19th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.